everyone, my name is Jess and today I'm going to unbox the new 14 inch portable monitor by Dell. And if you're thinking, Jess, you have already done this, I have not. All right, let's go ahead and get started. All right, everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button below. It would help me out a lot. And you'll be reminded that every single Monday I do post new content. Okay, so you are here because you have never seen a 14 inch portable monitor by Dell, or you've watched my last video about two years ago when I talk about how cool this device is. If you are a hybrid worker and on the road, going to hotels, this is the device that you cannot leave home without. And um, let's see what's new, right? This is the second generation of the monitor. And um, we wanna see what has changed, if anything, look and feel. And so if you didn't see that video, I'm gonna give you a full unboxing of what, uh, what this monitor looks like. And then we're gonna dive into plugging it in, what capabilities can it do, and answer some of your questions. I know some of you asked, hey, can this be connected to my Nintendo? Let's see, I will get my Nintendo and we will see if it can. So here we go. And if you didn't see my first reaction to this monitor, you need to go watch that because I was super, super excited. I've now used this product for about two years and uh, I still get like, oh, is that a Dell product? Oh my gosh, this is great. So here is the instructions for use, how it's set up, comes with a cable, that's it. Again, the lovely case, and I will tell you what else I use this for. You have your type C cable, that's all you need. Another warranty and safety regulation. You have your cardboard here. I don't recall if that's how it was in the box before. I feel like that's different how it's fitted. And here we go. I freaking love this monitor. I love this monitor. Okay. Okay. Let's take a look here. Again, super stunning. Maybe I'll put it flat first so you can see it. Okay, so I want to give you an example of my new one and the old one side by side. Now, my brain for a second is like, hold on. These must be two different types of units. They must have changed the chassis, something must be different here, but they are identical. The only difference that you're seeing here is really wear and tear. I've used the monitor on the right hand side for about two years now or two and a half years. So there is some wear. Just wanna give you the audio of me touching it since if you can't see this in store, this is probably what you would do. And again, they are identical. So one thing that is really neat about this is the beautiful sleeve. It's very basic. If I could do one recommendation is besides just throwing this in the sleeve and having it loose and you, you know, you put your monitor in here and the cable, whoops, the cable is just sitting in Sorry about that. The cable is just sitting in there, right? Wherever it is. Yes, it's just sitting in there at the bottom. I feel like a nice thing would be to somewhat have it, um, you know, connected to this so it's not just falling out. But if we did that, if the designers did that, you would probably wreck the fact that I use this when traveling as a mouse pad. It is so nice. The material, the fuzz does not come off. Even after two years, the fuzz has not come off mine. And uh, it's a great little mouse pad to travel with. So I don't know if the designers were thinking that far. Probably were because they're very smart. Mouse pad. So that's why if you're like me and wondering like, why is this cable just loosely thrown in here? That's why, because if they were to install something for that cable to sit or in the back, it wouldn't sit flat like this plot like this for the mouse pad. All right, so I am going to plug in the monitor. Let's 
see how that works here. So you can plug it in any side you want. So you can either plug it in here or you can plug it in there. Whoops. You're gonna just go ahead and plug it here. And I'm gonna plug it in to my laptop. There we go. It's connecting just like that. Once it goes, there we go. So again, like most Dell monitors, it's gonna take a couple seconds to connect. And let's go ahead and see the Dell Display Manager here. I'm gonna go ahead and click consent. Okay, so you should be able to see my screen. Dell Display Manager as a whole, I'm going to make a video because there are so many different ways that you can piece into this and change different features and brightness and contrast and personalize and have different windows and it's going to keep the memory as soon as you plug it into your laptop it's going to keep the memory of whatever easy range you have decided but let's go ahead and go through brightness right let me actually turn there so you can go ahead and play with the brightness and it's going to i'm sure you saw there that it dimmed the screen and let's put it all the way to the top. Oops. Let's go ahead and make it full brightness. And it's already saying consumption for low consumption because I do not have my computer plugged in right now. So you're gonna look at in, uh, input source. So you have USB-C, one or C2, depending on where you plug it in. I believe that's for easy memory. You can also rename it um, USB C right and left. So you can pick whatever you want to put as a name and it will fall there. And same as for the two, you can look at hotkeys, you can toggle current input source and you can put whatever key you want you can go through the color manual or auto i'm always a auto type gal so i will put that there it can be night light on or off that's great that's very cool okay now you can go through the display the settings of the size with the Hertz as well. So I want to keep it always at max. You can change the text and the apps at the size recommended. It can be a hundred. So it's a lot smaller. Let me make it the recommended here. There we go. All right. The easy range I think is the best feature. Personalize as well. And others for power nap. This is great. So this integration is the game changer for this new P14 24H is it comes with Dell Display Manager. And a lot of you that watch my channel use Dell Display Manager because my video from last year really exploded. So I probably will make another one. If you have questions below, I hope to answer them. But really, the majority of you love this easy range and let's just take a look of how easy it is to do that with the uh, portable monitor here. So I'm going to do profile. I'm going to do profile one because this is not mine. And let's do, I don't know, I don't think three windows or four windows would be ideal for this 14 inch screen. What I will say is the dual window is what I will keep. So I'm gonna click that, click next. And you can easily arrange what you want your window one to be. So you can pick, whoa, you can pick out of all these apps here to have it, uh, you know, company portal or character. I'm gonna say camera, something that, um, you know, is not a personal uh, application and I'll do calculator. Here we go and I'll click next. 
So manually select, so launch op option, automatically launch by this time, launch during PC startup. So it's gonna easily arrange. So we'll just do this. And I'll click finish and let's click apply and see what happens. Okay. Wow. There we go. I don't know if you saw that, but that was really freaking cool. Yes, that is one of the cameras that is recording, but wow, that is a game changer, right? For this type of monitor to have it always remember, you know, maybe you use better applications than the camera or the calculator where you have your teams and your outlook automatically, as soon as you connect this display into your laptop, th those, those two different applications that you always have open are gonna automatically move to the display. I think that's amazing. I wonder if anyone will know if I switch the two uh, displays. I'm kidding. All right, now let's see it connected to a Mac. A lot of you asked in my previous video, does it work with Mac OS? So I'm gonna show you live that it does. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in. Whether you have the old model or the new one, it does work. So if someone is selling like a refurbished one, it's also going to work on a Mac. And very similar to Windows, it connects in really less than 10 seconds. Here we go, and there we go. And keep in mind, this is not my MacBook, this is my husband's. Would not have one of those. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna show you with two displays. I have my old one and we have the new one here, and I will connect it to my Dell laptop. Now I'm curious if it does do daisy chaining, so I'm gonna start with that, I just kept the camera rolling and I'm gonna go ahead and plug in to my laptop. I think this is the old one. And then I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the old one to the new one. Let's get that done. And then lastly, I'm going to plug it into power because it also, if you plug it, the monitor into power, it will also charge your laptop. And as it's getting charged, I did want to note that this screen here is anti-glare. It's a nice matte finish, so the light is not going to bounce off the screen when you're working. And it is built for low blue light technology. So it shouldn't be as hard on the eyes as some other monitors. I'm going to get logged in. As you can see, it connects to my one screen. Now, is it going to connect to the second? So I'm going to go ahead and click de detect and see if... It's able to pick up that I do have a second monitor daisy chained. I know the Dell new the new Dell monitors you're able to daisy chain with the hub, but doesn't look like this one is able. So let's see if I plug it in individually and I put them switch, put the new one closer and um, the old one connected. Just trying all options here so that you don't need to try them. I'm not sure who is using two monitors, portable monitors, but um, you know, I guess at a hotel, some people do want that efficiency. So you would maybe buy two monitors, but really I only use the one and it doesn't matter if I switch them, it's still not detecting the two. Now, of course, I'm gonna try just doing them separate and plugging in the two type C because I do have two type C ports on my laptop and I'm sure that's going to work because I assume that the monitors are like standard monitors so when you do plug in two monitors this laptop does work and I'm sure if you had a docking station and you plug them in to that docking station as well as into the laptop it would work as well so here we go is it going to detect there we go so you have your three screens, it automatically detected when I plugged it directly into the system. So you have one, two, and three, and you can move it around just like you would with any laptop, um, laptop dock or connection with monitors. 
And okay, and so if you are that person that is traveling with two monitors and you want to see, is it that small? Can I fit two portable monitors in my backpack? Well, the answer, my friends, are yes, you can. Now look at this. Look how thin it is. And I'm going to show you my laptop for reference so that you can see that it really is quite slim. Here we go. And each one is weighing about 590 grams. So it is going to be light, probably lighter than my laptop here. Quite impressive. So have at her. All right. So you saw the monitor connected to the laptop. Now, a lot of you were wondering, does it work on Nintendo? And let's find out. Let's see. I haven't done this before, but I'm going to go ahead. I hope it doesn't break. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my Nintendo. So my Nintendo is on. Is it going to connect? Maybe it needs some sort of power. Looking for a signal. It's saying no type C signal from your device. Now let's see if I plug this into power. Let's just see what happens. It's going into standby mode. I'm gonna go ahead and plug this monitor into some power. Run into standby mode. I'm going to turn it on again. So far it's not working. Maybe I need to use a different cable. It says no type C1 signal from your device. So it's safe to say I don't think it works here. All right, so that was my review of the new Dell 14 inch portable monitor. As you know, I love reviewing monitors. So if there is a monitor or a brand that's maybe not Dell that you wanna see, go ahead and comment below. I'm happy to either pick one up, ask the manufacturer, and I will do that honest review for you. But again, if you have the old generation, the software integration that this comes with alone, it's worth it to upgrade. So either sell your old one, give it to a friend or a colleague, get the new one, it's worth it. I certainly will love the feature of the Dell Display Manager utilizing as soon as you plug this in to your laptop, whether it's Mac or um, Dell or any other Windows device, that it will streamline those windows that you want open right away. Game changer. So if you like this type of video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and I will see you next Monday. Take care. Thank you.